Hi, this is Dr. Heidi Grant, and welcome to another episode of Three Things to Do. Today's topic is a devil we all know, procrastination. Maybe it's the resume that you haven't gotten around to updating, even though on some level you want to look for a new job. Or maybe it's the changes to your diet and exercise that you've been meaning to make so that you can get healthier. We all know what it's like to put something off again and again. Luckily, there are three science-based strategies you can use to stop procrastinating, or at least do it a little bit less. The first is to adopt a prevention focus. It turns out there's two ways we can think about any task or any goal. You can think about it either as a way to end up better off than you currently are, and we call that a promotion focus, or you can think about it as a way to not lose something, to not end up worse off than you already are. We call that a prevention focus. Imagine you're in a relationship and you wanna spend a little bit more quality time with your partner. You can do that either because you want your relationship to get stronger, that's promotion focus, or because you're actually worried that if you don't, the relationship might end. That's prevention focus. And research shows that we're much more likely to procrastinate when we think about a goal as more of a promotion focus goal, as a way to end up better off. It's the, it's the things we want to do because we'll end up better off that we kind of put to the side sometimes. But when instead you think about anything you're going to do as a way to avoid risk, as a way to avoid loss, that prevention focus is very motivating and very reliably leads people to not procrastinate. So you're much more likely to get going if you think about what you might lose. The second strategy is to take any big task and break big tasks into small ones. It turns out that the way our brains work is they're very sensitive to the gap between where we are now and where we want to end up. And generally speaking, that gap is what motivates us to take action. But sometimes if the gap is too big, it can feel overwhelming. And even on an unconscious level, we tend to not take action when we feel like it's just a bridge too far. Instead, if we break things into smaller pieces, those gaps are about the right size for us to really stay motivated. And also, it gives us the opportunity to feel a sense of progress, right? Every time you complete one of the smaller tasks, you're well on your way to completing the bigger one, and lots of research shows that that sense of progress is really important to keep us going over the long haul. And finally, the third thing to do to stop procrastinating is to make a routine. Actually, procrastinating is a lot like avoiding temptation in general. In that moment where you're deciding, do I work on this big task that, I, that I've been avoiding, or do I do something a little bit more fun, the more you deliberate about that choice, the more likely the fun thing is to win. Instead, if you decide in advance when and where you're going to work on these bigger goals you keep procrastinating about and build routines so that every day you're working a little bit on that goal, you're much more likely to be successful. So let's go over those three tips one more time. The first, adopt a prevention focus. Think about the things you might lose if you don't actually get going on this project or task. The second, Break big tasks into small ones. Make sure that it's not so daunting. That'll help you to stay more motivated over the long haul. And finally, make a routine. Don't leave it up to chance when you're gonna work on these big hairy projects. Instead, make sure you're doing a little bit in a very systematic way and you can make that more of an automatic habit over time. So thanks for tuning in again to Three Things to Do. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please share the video with anyone you know who might, you know, need to stop procrastinating, which is probably everyone you know. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next week.